One man had a vision that would change our world. Welcome to WrestleMania! A world where legends are born. Now, you can live those moments. Slam a giant. Climb the ladder. Go one-on-one -on -one with the great one. Retire a legend. Steal the show. Dethrone an icon. And keep the dead man's streak alive. Create a once-in-a-lifetime moment. of WrestleMania. Aubrey Simpson, I'm here with my man Christo Kiriazis. How's it going, guys? Game designer on WE2K14, and we're here to talk about... Universe Mode. Universe Mode. You guys have asked for it. You've demanded it. Uh, we get questions on Twitter, on the forums, on the website, t Facebook, YouTube, everywhere, all the time. People want to know about Universe Mode. And this right here is the guy to tell us about it. I'm going to give you everything that we've got new happening for Universe and WW2K14, and we're going to lay it on you right now. We're going to, we're going to get real deep into it. But first, let me just remind people of a couple of things. WW2K14, of course, coming out very soon. Less than a month. Less than a month. Next month, hyped. October 29th, you can get WE2K14 in your hot little hands, November 1st internationally. But make sure, don't wait until midnight on the 29th, no. uh, or the 28th, because if you pre-order, you get... The ultimate, ultimate warrior, warrior playable character. Go. Look at this T-shirt. This is good, right? Man, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, I got this at PAX. It was a fun time. Awesome. Warrior was there. I heard about that. You were missed. I, I'm sorry. I couldn't make it. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. So, uh, Christo, for uh, yeah, I imagine everybody who's tuned in here today is well familiar with Universe Mode. It's a fan right. favorite. It's a fan favorite mode, and people love going through and um, using all the customization options and everything. But for folks who aren't familiar, could you, can you give us a quick little rundown on what? Universe is? Well, Universe is pretty much like a mode where you can simulate, or you can play a simulation of a show that's happening, uh, similar to WWE Broadcasting. And we give you the options to tweak the shows how you want the matches, the superstars that participate, and all that sorts of stuff, so you can create your own shows that happen in a similar format. Awesome. And, you know, year to year, you know, there, there are a bunch of changes, which we're going to be going into a little bit later. Right. Uh, do, you, do you guys have an overall sort of design philosophy or um, directive or mission statement or anything like that? Like, how do you, how do you see the evolution of Universe Mode? Uh, I see as we continue to deliver more options for players to control the universe, how it works, how they want to. And we provide those options that are just fun, they're entertaining to tweak with, they're easy to use, they're intuitive. And then I think that's what we're just going to continue delivering with. Awesome. Cool. So um, we've, got, we've got a really big update this year, one that you and I have talked a lot about and one mm -hmm. that I'm really, really excited about. Um, Rivalry Manager. Rivalry Manager. And we've got some video, I think, to, to, show, to show these fine folks that uh, you're going you're gonna to walk us through, right? Right. So, Edis, could you queue up that video for us? Yeah, so here we go. We've got the Universe main menu right here. You can see something's a little bit different. Uh, if you take a look on the left, you see your menus are a little changed up a little bit. You've got your Rivalries option right underneath Calendar over there. And that's exactly where you're going to go right into. And you'll go right into this main menu here where you can see your current Rivalries your past rivalries, which we don't have any yet. We'll get to that when we're done creating rivalries. So here you've got the rivalries that are set up for Universe right now. We've got Ryback versus CM Punk, Santino Morello versus David Otunga, and the primetime players versus the real Americans. And all different weeks, I notice. Yes. Like, or weeks remaining, I guess. That's correct. Uh, different rivalries will have different durations, which you can customize as you're creating them. And so we'll show you how that process goes um, once we get rid of this rivalry right here. There you've got the option to create a new one. And here's where you're going to create your new rivalry. It's very simple, straightforward. You choose your rivalry type, which is one-on-one -on -one or tag team, your duration, which is short, medium, or long, and then you pick your superstars that you want to compete against each other. So we want to kind of go with a really popular rivalry that's happening very right topical. now. Very topical, very, very topical very stuff Very controversial. Here. Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan. 
And after that's created, you have your rivalry set up right there. And you can see the WWE Championship's on the line for this one. Not Apparently, the WWE Championship is not held up in abeyance in, in this particular universe. No, not for a this one. A slight difference from the real universe. Um, so, so uh, am I correct in that the, the system automatically puts the title into the picture? You're, once, uh, you're correct. The, the system is designed to do all the heavy lifting. All you have to do is just choose which guys you want to compete with, and then choose the duration for how long they compete against each other. And, and what am I looking go. at here? Here you can see where your biggest rivalry is happening right now. Uh, you've got your Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan. And as we mentioned, we've got the Pass Rally section underneath that. But let's take a look at the match card set up here. As you can see on the match card, every match will say which, if it belongs to a rivalry or not. So you've got Santino Morella, David Otunga, Real Americans versus Primetime Players, and then Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan. And that's important uh, because people who set up these rivalries, they want to see all the great storylines and cutscenes and stuff play out. Right. right. These are the matches that you don't want to miss. These are the ones you want to play from your rifle. You don't want to skip these over. Right. Awesome. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to watch the match here, huh? Yeah. Let's do a little bit of, let's show a little bit of gameplay for it between and, these two. And now this is, a, this is a match that you played, right? That's correct. Uh, and what was the difficulty on? The difficulty was on normal. Okay. Um, and how would you how would you describe your skill level in WWE 2K14? I would say I'm pretty advanced. Uh, you know, Brian, Willi <laughs> Brian Williams, he we we go at it quite a bit, and he always he's always a fun match to play against. And then who usually comes out on top? Uh, I would say it's usually me. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, okay. This is, we're 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 seeding a rivalry of our own. Here oh yeah. We might have offices. something happen in the future. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as folks probably in the the chat have already well taken note. Uh, no, oh, I'm not gonna talk. There about we this. go. Now, Orton's not having any of this. He wants to get out of this match. You know, that's the champion's prerogative. He can. And so this is one of the, this is one of the cutscenes, right? Tied right. To, tied to the rivalry. He's, he he wants to bail out of this match, and uh, well, me as Daniel Bryan, I'm not gonna let him have any of that. Boom. Wow. There it Bryan is, right on the ramp. ramp. Jeez. Give him a little bit of a beat down there. So much How dare you walk out of this match? And so, as people people probably noticed, uh, we didn't show the entrances, and there's 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 method to the madness uh, mm -hmm. because as people know, we're doing daily entrances and finisher reveals on w2k.com and YouTube, and I don't want to spoil any of that Ooh. for folks. Uh, you know, if you want to see some new entrances and finishers, uh, you should definitely go check out our website w2k.com as well as our YouTube oh, look at that. Uh, oh. slash we games where you can find uh, today's editions, which are Mick Foley and Teddy DiBiase. Really wow. great-looking stuff. Those are some pretty good, pretty good editions. Mick Foley, uh, of course, has that uh, new breaking point mandible claw. Yeah, which is pretty Which I know awesome. is another thing that people have been asking for. Submit people with that. And Ted DiBiase, of course, we've got the Million Dollar Dream submission in Absolutely. there, too. Absolutely, yeah, of course. How could I forget? Million Dollar Man, one of my favorites. You can feel the bad blood oh, here we go. Here's the signature. Boom. Boom. Those kicks, those, those, at famous, those famous, those uh, famous pure wrestle inspired kicks. Uh oh, Orton! Oh, right to the eyes. Oh, and here's an example reversal. of and here's an example of our new reversal system too, right? So That's instead of right. just the endless chain grappling, uh, Daniel Bryan went actually into a move. It, it keeps the speed of the game up, you know, just like you see on WWE TV. That's right. Uh -oh. it looks like you're kind of in trouble here, Chris. Yeah, he gave me a run for my money. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, here we go. Uh oh, oh no, man. It's just back and forth. Oh, oh, we caught him. Oh, Ooh, he dodged the Enziguri. Another running, running grapples. grapples. Yeah. I take the best from you. <laughs> <laughs> my, my influence is clearly being seen around the offices. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was a good guys. Oh. I'm drag. You guys are working on the arm. Nice, right, smart. Smart. Submission style wrestling from here you from go. Daniel Bryan. Work everything. Ooh. Another kick to the head. I love those. I love those. Um, I love the combos. The um, uh -oh. no yeah, sleeper hold here. Uh, no. Gonna do it. No. Oh. Oh. Breaking out. Yeah. Not. <laughs> <laughs> that's good because he's still applying damage. He's weakening them up. And that's something new this year, right? Right. The longer you cinch in those submissions, the more damage that they're going to do in over time. So there's a reason that you want to keep pounding away at them during those breaking points, and even if you're not going to make them tap out. And that's a request from last year as well, right? Because people um, would be frustrated that they put on the submission, maybe end up in a worse spot than they were before they latched the submission. Oh. Them. Yeah. So it's a pretty good move to use this year, if you, especially if you want to focus on a specific body part. Playing a guy like Daniel Bryan. Yeah, exactly. You work down uh, onto his head and just Back cinch it. Kicks. Brutal. Yes, a lot. Daniel Bryan. 
Daniel Bryan with the offense. The kick-based offense. I think this is perfectly fitting for Daniel Bryan. He's just an offensive powerhouse once he gets going. <laughs> there you go. Off the ropes. Oh. Nice. And finisher. Of course, this is one of our locks. one of our catapult finishers. Yeah. That's and oh, this year. Oh, and rope right into a rope break. An important thing to note, though, is that when folks have catapult finishers, they, those are also catching finishers. They work both ways, right? So if Randy Orton had went to the top rope for um, for any kind of move, uh, Daniel Bryan. Uh oh, we're gonna pin here. No, not enough to put him out. You're fine. Um, you know, if, Daniel, if Randy Orton had gone to the top for anything, mm. Daniel Bryan could have caught him that way as well. Ooh. Suplex. Oh, what do we have going up. here? So here comes the wake up taunt. And I think we got something people are gonna like right now. Yeah. Oh! Damn. That that running that, knee. that running knee that running high knee to the face, face. the busaiku, uh, whatever you want to call it, it's brutal. And Daniel Bryan has it in the love in fourteen. So Daniel Bryan's the winner of this match. Uh, and oh, well, take a let's look watch, some the, of let's watch the replay. Some sharp kicks to the chest and to the head. Something I really like about the replays this year is that it really does catch a lot of really great spots and you know momentum shifts and um, cool moments in the match. There's a like really the really awesome suplex. Right there. And of course, oh, wind up into the knee. Say you down, Martin. Boom. Of course, the finish. One, two, two three. three. Awesome. There's your winner. Daniel oh, Bryan. Yeah, D-Bry. Uh, something's going on here, though, here. huh? Ooh. And again, this is another an example of another one of our cut scenes, right? Tied, tied to this rivalry. Exactly. Or he's not happy with the results of the match, and of course he's going to try and sabotage that. But uh, Daniel Bryan's not going to have any of that. He's, on top, he's in top four in this game right now. So the rivalry manager—it's a huge thing, and uh, it's something I think that um, I don't want to—I don't want to gloss over. And I want to make sure people recognize is that the rivalry manager is there's a lot of freedom within the rivalry manager, right? As people saw, you can choose these short, medium, or long rivalries. Mm -hmm. You can have them start at any time, right? They don't always—they right. don't all have to start on the same show. You can you can wait till later in you, the week, start right. yourself. You can create them anytime you want, and of course, it'll always be pretty transparent. It'll always be transparent of when it's going to start, so when that rivalry is going to happen. And you have different rivalries for different shows, correct? Correct. Ex excellent. So it's, it's, you know, something we've seen a lot from people, you find folks out there, has been the desire to, you know, while allowing Universe to do this work for you, also have the freedom to create Universe the way you want it, right? right. So if you've got two top-level superstars like Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton, and you want to see them go at it with the title on the line, right. you can do that now. And you don't have to constantly be making all those own matches for yourself and monkeying around with the number one contender order and things like that. Right. The rivalry manager is designed to be really, really intuitive, simple to use. It does all the heavy lifting. And so all you have to do is just figure out who you want to use for how long, and there you go. Boom. And this works for singles as well as tag teams, correct? Exactly. You can set up tag team rivalries with this. Awesome. Really cool stuff. So, um, without you know any more of our yammering, because I, I think people really want to see those stuff. Right. Uh, Edis, let's, let's keep that next video if we could, please. Now you can see the results of our match. Dan O'Brien is the winner, and we're going to take a look at our new menu improvements. Here you've got WWE.com, which is a combination of our news, our rankings, and our statistics. And here you can see the latest news that's happening related to our rivalries as. Uh, you get little tidbits that happen every or every so often in a rivalry match. And of course, there's only one thing here because this rivalry, our universe, really just started. It's exactly. Right. It's making right. So why don't we go ahead and uh, jump forward and we can see all the events that happen later on. And so we're simulating up to the next pay per view, which is extreme rules because our universe started at WrestleMania, naturally. Right. So why don't we go ahead and uh, show off what we've got happening here? Healing AJ Lee and Extreme Rules for the Divas Championship. I'd watch that. That'd be pretty brutal. Also an Extreme Rules match. Fitting for the pay-per-view, Santino Moreno and David Otunga. Justin Gabriel versus Drew McIntyre. The culmination of our other rivalry, Real Americans versus Primetime Players. Mark Henry versus Alberto Del Rio. And the match I didn't know And a tables match. <laughs> tables match, Man. no less. And you got Tensai taking on Seth Rollins. Interesting. She always was having heat, but the... <laughs> <laughs> On a ladder match, the WWE title. Go. And again, this is one of our rivalry matches. If you, if you missed it earlier, we set up this, our new brand new rivalry manager, and uh, we, we set Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton to have a rivalry over the WWE Championship. 
and now uh, it's culminating. Yeah. Uh, in, um, uh, is, it, is this the culmination, or is this? Because we said it's a long rivalry, mm -hmm. this will be the first ending to one of three parts. Wow. So a little, no matter what happens here, the rivalry will keep on going. It'll keep on going, regardless of who wins or who defends the championship. Excellent. So and when you set it up in a long rivalry situation like that, it's possible to have the championship bounce and changing hands, and then it gets to the point where you know, you've doing the rug, you're doing the rubber match where someone's got to take it home. And for this one, I wanted to... Here we go. Except a little bit, Zord. Yeah, Be a little. Since you're so confident in your skills. Oh yes, <laughs> my vicious skills. Starting with that <laughs> suplay, that vertical suplay, right off the bat. Oh. Running off the ropes. Oh, in reverse. What is reversal? Is that? The strikes this year much faster. I mean, it's something we've we've mentioned before, but. Um, to really experience how this changes gameplay. Folks, I think, really need to play for themselves. And we've seen people coming out of events where the game was at, um, like GameStop Expo and PAX and uh, Gamescom, uh, really talking a lot about how much faster the gameplay feels. And that's due to both the reversals we talked about earlier, as well as the strikes. Right. I mean, personally, for me, the, the, the changes to the strikes, you know, I tend to use them a lot more now, and they're just a lot more brutal. And just because of how fast they come out, that really changes up your, your middle middle neutral game where you've got both guys kind of a short distance from each other so you're trying to trying to react or trying to anticipate how they're going to close in on you and throw out that strike as they're getting in there and I think it makes the I think it makes the actually the early going match more interesting too um, the storytelling aspect of it right because right. you know with the speed of the strikes and the fact that they're a little bit tough in a block right mm -hmm. um, how quick they're coming it allows you to start off these matches with these kind of slugfests that you see a lot of so right, it, right. it makes it a more practical way to play the match, which, again, you know, I, I think, you know, if I can put words in the guy's mouth, there's always the, the intent, right, to make it easier to duplicate. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well. Make it just as much as fun as it is to watch. the Garvin stomp. Every body part. Love it. Those are my favorites. Mm. Uh, my, fun, fun fact, my, uh, my created superstar, Prince Aubrey, used that Prince as his Aubrey. signature. That's oh, look at this. What, oh, a, what, well, a, what, a, what a jerk. What a jerk. Taking off the turnbuckle cover. Oh, we're getting ready to have over that. Right into the comeback. Nice. I love Daniel Bryan's comeback. Just flip over the back here. Oop. Oop. The AI is Vicious. Not, yeah, they're, they're really good at hitting these comebacks. <laughs> well, they want to come back, they lousy. will. I am oh, lousy at hitting the comebacks. It's or hard uh, to stop. reversing them, rather. It's, yeah, it's hard to stop them once they get going. Yeah, I, think that's, I think that's good, though, right? Because, again, right. you know, once a guy starts a comeback, that's... Point, right? He's, yeah, he's, he's playing through this thing, so it should be a rare thing that they get oh, interrupted. Daniel Bryan just—he's going out of for nowhere. It, yeah. Oh wow! Reverse, Reverse with that the knee. the, the Luthes press. Yeah, I wasn't hearing that. I've got, I've got two saved, or finishers saved up. Here. Neither of you guys have gone for the ladders yet. I'm a little. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm a little. Uh, just going straight at each other. By that. Oh no! Yeah. This is probably my favorite new addition oh, to the game this year. Oh! Mm. Mm. Vicious. So vicious. Uh, and I love the cell too. How Daniel Bryan is just sprawled he is out. knocked out. Uh, no, no more of this, you know, rolling around holding his head, but just yeah. out. Oh, he's, he's not going to stay out for long. Yet. Drop kick, just put him out. Randy Orton going for that title. Uh -oh. yeah, Can't quite uh -oh. reach it. Ooh. Oh. No. Boom. Mm. The RKO off the top. <laughs> that is incredible. I love it. Yeah. You know, forgive me for this part. I had a little trouble setting up the ladder. <laughs> Please ignore so, that. You know, if, if I'm not a, used to this. If, you had a lot, if, if it was a ladder match, I think that Brian Williams might be the guy that He might have lot. the edge on this one. He's, he's better at I think he might have a I slight am. advantage. <laughs> I'll just sort of make Here sure they never face each other in a ladder Daniel match. Daniel Bryan appropriately he's knocked out, been from out that, for a while from that RKO off the top. Horton just gets all the time. Is it enough, though? Is it enough? There it is. Man. Yes. Oh. Incredible. Oh. Up just too late. No! He realizes it. <laughs> no! <laughs> awesome. So let's watch some of these, these, these great replay moments. Two suplex. Boom. Mm. Kicks from Daniel yes. Bryan. Yes! Oh. And Luthes, press, press reversal. I like that. Oh, and here it is. Of course, of course, this makes it in. <clears throat> Nasty. Nasty. Good 
Awesome. Great, great stuff. With the new WWE title, of course. Right. Of course. Really important that we got that in. Our first, it's first, first appearance in the game. He earned it. He earned it. Yeah. <laughs> With an RKO like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I kind of, you know, I'm a Daniel Bryan fan myself, but uh, any match that involves an RKO off a ladder, I'm kind of a little predisposed to support. So, there you go. Uh, now, a question about the rivalry manager, Chris. Sure. Uh, obviously, you can create your own rivalries. That's right. Uh, using the rivalry manager. Mm -hmm. What if you don't? What if you don't go into the rivalry? Well, if you don't want to take stuff. the time and uh, set everything up like that, because I know some people just want to get in, they want to play, they want to experience what's in there right out of the box, uh, you don't have to take the time to set that up. By default, the game will be creating rivalries using the rivalry manager automatically, and they'll be pretty smart about it too. So you'll see championship rivalries happening quite often, as awesome. well as uh, high-ranking rivalries between or singles and tag team between other competitors without the championships on the line. So if people want to use the rivalry manager, they can, and I recommend they do, because it's really rad. It's a really great way to kind of tweak your universe without breaking anything or blowing up, uh, exactly. you know, blowing up <laughs> yeah. Jack, which is kind of a problem that I had sometimes, right? Because I, right. I just all of a sudden changed my mind, and then I, I, I sort of butt in and sort of Derail cancel. the train. Yeah, I, I kind of mess it up. And uh, But with the, the rivalry manager, you can make these decisions and be sure that these... Uh, these rivalries are actually be taking place, right? That's right. So, um, you know, we mentioned earlier um, that the game actually records the rivalry history. We took a peek at it. Right. Um, and there's only one thing. We had the one news item. Um, and let's, uh, let's take a look back. Uh, Edis, if you could, please, check out that next video. There's the results of our last match. Uh, Randy Orton's still champion. Nice. Um, and again, this rivalry will keep on going, right? Because That's right. You selected the long version. Still got two more pay-per-views for that rivalry to go for. And I see that seven, that little uh, indicator next to WWE.com. That's how many news items that are new to that. Awesome. So uh, what's new this year is it'll actually keep track of the news items that happen for the, for the entire week. Um, for all the rivalries, is for that For all rivalries, that's right. Awesome. And so we've got you know, Raw and SmackDown happening. That's six rivalries happening at the same time. We've got news for all of them stored up in here. Ah, excellent. And how far back does this go? Uh, this will go back for a whole week. And it'll, re it'll keep all of that as you go as you start the next week. And gotcha. once you have a new event happen, that's when it will reset the news. So that's why we only see back to April week four. That's right. One. Excellent. Um, so I'm going back to the rivalry. It looks like. Yeah. Here you can actually see all the events that happened for the rivalry so far, uh, including matches and who won them, and as well as the news items that occurred for those rivalries. So even if you're simulating through the rivalries, you can uh, you can take a peek back and see how it all unfolded. Match types and finishes, it looks like, huh? That's right. With aggression. Awesome. So, um, you know, one of, the, one of the things we mentioned earlier is, of course, tag team mm. rivalries. Um, that's, that's an option, right? You could have three tag team rivalries going on if yeah, you wanted to. if you right? wanted to. You have this really tag team heavy show, which is kind of a thing that I might do. Um, <laughs> but uh, something that I think people are going to be really excited about are uh, some tweaks made to attires. That's right. Uh, we, in addition to giving you control of which matches are made and which superstars you want to use for those matches in the rivalry manager, we give you control of what your superstars want to wear or what you want them to wear. Awesome. I, and, you know, I, I bet we have video of this, don't we? I think we do. Edis. So show us what's happening. Tell us what's happening here, Christo. All right. So we're gonna get out of this rivalry manager. Well, first let's create a new one. You know, they've had their match. Let's do something. Uh, something that people have talked about for a while, and one that uh, has been made a lot of impact. New John Cena versus The Rock. Of course. Now John Cena, as you know, he, he has a lot of attire. He has a few past. this year. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of different, lot of different t-shirt, uh, jean combinations, jean short combinations. Right. Uh, maybe, maybe some camo uh, or uh, you know, cards yeah, a little bit there. Things thrown in there as well. So what are we looking at here? Uh, so here you've got your customized universe op menu, uh, which is all the customization options you know, condensed into one overview. And so you've got your edit calendar, which you know, is editing, deleting, and pay-per-views, edit superstars for universe, edit rosters for moving your superstars around shows, 
edit teams for controlling the different superstars on which teams are on, edit titles for assigning and vacating championships in the universe, story options for controlling what types of storylines happen for your rivalries, and if you don't like where a universe is going, you can always reset it. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and assign an attire for John Cena here at the Edit Superstar screen. <laughs> so you can see what, right at the bottom you've got the attires option, and here you can kind of scroll through all the attires that you've unlocked for John Cena. You can see he's got quite a few shirts. Of course, quite from, a few from, from all the different WrestleManias, which of course, the focus of this year's game, 30 years of WrestleMania. Right. Since the UWD's WrestleMania attires. Yeah, and The Rock. There we go. He's got some attires of his own. And really? if you can't settle on one attire, you can let the game decide which attire you want to do by choosing the random option. Which again, is another great way to sort of make Universe mode, more like WWE television, where guys aren't wearing the same attire exactly. necessarily. Yes, sometimes they do, so not, not some everybody. Do. Yeah, you know, if it's a special event, you can always uh, you can always choose a new, new attire. For right. it. Yeah. So here you go. Here's the first match of our rivalry between John Cena and The Rock. So and Tina Morella and David Atunga still going on strong. It's, uh, there's, there's a lot. Of, the I, I heard office. there's a lot of bad blood between those two. <laughs> I'd watch it. Honestly, <laughs> I would. Extreme rule right off the bat. Wow, I love it. Vicious. So this is this is the very beginning of the rivalry too, right? It is. And how long was this rivalry that you said? Uh, I think we did 12 months for this one. Or this, uh, this would be a long one. So you can see John Cena is wearing his WrestleMania 27 shirt, and Rock's got a random attire of his own. Rock going to work on him already. Yeah, for this match, I play the Rock. Okay, I'm a Rock guy. Yeah. Of course, I can see that. I like Rock more than John Cena. I think, uh, I think folks in the chat might agree with you. Personally, really? Personally, I'm kind of, uh, personally, I'm kind of a What do you guys say? I, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing there's a lot of people yelling at me right now for liking John Cena. <laughs> uh, I, if I had to hazard a guess, but, uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, no. He's, look at those shoes, though. Here's yeah. the thing. Look at, those, look at those sneakers. Those look rad to me. Yeah. That's the guy I want to hang out with. How about that? I, I, I love when, you know, earlier days in the WWE, he would just, like, start pumping up those sneakers. Yeah. Like, damn, he's hulking up with I the know. sneakers. It's, I, uh, I, I, don't, I don't get the hate. Oh, look at this. Belly to belly. John Cena. Come play. get some. Sue play. Yeah. Oh! Boom. So, you know, uh, one, of the great, one of the great things about having uh, the default attires, right, is um, the, ability, the ability to go in and set these ahead of time, right? You know, and, and without, without actually messing up storylines or change of matches, right? Right. So you don't have to go into every match and then pick the superstar and say, I want this attire for them. You can just do that straight up, you know, from the edit superstars menu and say, hey, this guy's going to always be in this one, or he's going to be in a different one every show. Or, you know, when you get to a big pay-per-view, you can go in and tweak everybody's attire. Right. Give choose. them a very specific one. Right. To choose, you know, to really play dress up with these guys. Yeah, give them that important honestly, WrestleMania. It, attire. I, I say play dress up, but honestly, that's a big part of the fun, right? Is right. is making sure these guys look the way that you want them to look yeah. when they're when they're performing in these matches that you've dictated oh, using the oh, Hurricane Rana, Rana. Uh, competing in these matches that you've dictated using the rivalry manager. Right. And that one hurt his boom! Boom! Boom. So I haven't piece. seen. I I didn't watch the conclusion of this match. Uh -huh. um, you're playing as the Rock. I am. Um, I don't know. The way things are going right now. I want to say that John Cena's going to get the best of you, uh, but the way things are going right now, I just don't see it. You don't see it. I don't see it. Who's got the comeback though? Oh. I know. We have documented evidence oh, that you're lousy at reversing the comeback. Yes. Boom. Yeah. Shoulder block. They happened so fast. Oh. There it is. Uh, yep. Boom. A five knuckle shuffle. He didn't go for it. No. Teasing you. Oh, he's going. Oh, oh nice no. something else. And again, one of those new reversals. Love it. Love oh, the way they keep, they keep, the, they keep the, the pace of the match high. Rock. Uh oh. Spine buster. Spine buster. Look at this. Oh! Yeah! I love the new spine Shit. buster animation. Yeah, I love it. That's one of the things that people were most excited about when we uh, released the Rock's uh, entrance and finisher video. Oh, yeah. Um, of course, the people's elbow. But yeah. that new flexing. Spine buster. Mm, that new flexing spine buster. Is uh, it's so rock. It's just him to a T. Yeah. Is that it? Oh, seeing a kick uh, out. Two, two, point two. So close. Uh, that new, that new, the new Spinebuster animation is just so totally the rock, and it really, you know, it really captures him. Which again, it's the, the stuff, right? Yeah. It's to make it feel real, make it feel like WWE television. 
having all those little touches for those animations, and you know, we feel we need to capture that kind of personality. You know, uh oh, here it is. It. Oh, right to the attitude. Oh, man. Looks like he might be in a little trouble yeah, here, friend, though. See, so, yeah, all away from the ropes. He knows better than to go for that rope break. Yeah. Number one, two, and. Oh, nice! This is an extreme rules match, isn't it? It is. You guys are keeping it clean so far. Yeah. Beat a couple of honorable. I, think that, I feel like that's kind of rivalry that they kind of set up. They, they, they hate each other, but yeah, they're going to keep it in they the They respect ring. one another. And then they just leave all that dirty <laughs> fighting to the taunting. <laughs> Ooh. Got another elbow. Can you see that spine buster again? No. 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 Going straight for the finisher here. Look out. You ready for this? Uh -huh. Set it up. Oh. Ooh. Right into Caught the rock bottom. into the rock bottom. Love it. And again, the rock bottom that means the rock bottom can also be used as a catching finisher. That's right. Which is really neat so stuff. If anyone's jumping at you or doing a springboard, or if you feel like tossing them up with a catapult, either way, you can catch them and lay them out with the rock bottom. Favorite spine buster. Love it. Ah! I'm seeing this. Oh, so close. Oh, the big Samoan drop. Boom. Love the Samoan drop. That's one of my One, favorites. two, and three. Okay. And this is just the start, of course, to uh, what will be a lengthy uh, John Cena yeah, drop right. rivalry, just oh, like in real life. And they shake hands. An honorable a victory and an honorable defeat. From these two gr great competitors. But since it's just the start of a rivalry, who knows how else? Yeah, who knows well, how it's going to Still spend. got Absolutely. so many more matches leading up to their pay per view. So so far we've showed a few things, right? We've showed the rivalry manager. But we showed the ability to set default and random attires. We've That's shown right. some specific things within how the rivalry manager works, the rivalry history, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, these are all, you know, um, these are. These are, these are smaller things that have a huge impact on universe mode and the way it's played and, the, right. and, and what you can do with it, right? Um, there's also, uh, the, but wait, that's not all. Oh, uh, wait, there's more. <laughs> there's the order now, uh, and get uh, Ultimate Warrior pre order character. <laughs> but also, 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 also. Christo's going to throw in this a huge new addition, something that everybody asked for last year, uh, and we had to sort of shrug and say, mm, maybe next year. And guess what? It happened. It's happening. I'm throwing in. The pay-per-view theme, King of the Ring, so you can hold your own King of the Ring tournaments in universe. Exactly, and that, that was a huge thing last year, right? Because we we introduced King of the Ring, we said here's King of the Ring mode, you can go in, you can set right. these tournaments up, all that stuff, but it wouldn't work with universe. No, everyone was asking, where's King of the Ring in universe? Well, there it is. How about we show people what it looks like? So we're, we're back. Uh, we we see where we at, where we uh, last ended up with uh, Rock having defeated John Cena. We see a new story down there. I think I have an idea of what that probably is. That's right. So about the we beginning news, of their rivalry. Yep, news happening for the beginning of their rivalry. Uh, as well as the, the rest of the match card. Again, automatically generated. You get the primetime players versus the 3 and B. Santino Morella, David Otunga still mm -hmm. going strong. And so we want to set up our King of the Ring tournament here. We're going to do that by customizing the Over the Limit pay-per-view. The way you set that up is that the King of the Ring is a pay-per-view theme, so that means you have to set it up inside here. I saw something else there. No Man's Land. That's right. What is uh, that? No Man's Land is also a new, uh, unique pay-per-view theme. Uh, kind of one of my favorites. Is it's a combination of all the cage matches in WWE. So nice. you could have main events that are the cage match, you know, Hell in a Cell, or the Elimination Chamber. And here we go through some of our other uh, pay-per-view themes that you've seen before in WWE 13. You know, Excellent. matches, TLC, and a bunch of other you know WWE pay-per-views that have those match themes. Again, making it easy to create new pay-per-views, customize your universe, but you know, do it in the way you want to. But also letting the, letting the programming do some of the heavy lifting, right? That's right. Yeah, it should always be easy to use, and you know, you just jump right into it. Of course, it. using that King of the Ring logo. You gotta you have, have something to. fitting for that. So there we go. We've created our King of the Ring pay-per-view. Okay, so that does all the heavy lifting. I'm going to go right back to the counter menu and jump straight into it. We got to simulate a little bit first. Yeah, let's jump ahead. So you guys want to get to the tournament. Boom, 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 boom. There we are. Santino Morella, <laughs> David Tonga. Still, Man, still, are going still at it. hot and heavy, these two guys. They can't. Gabriel and uh, McIntyre, that's another one of our rivalry matches. Yeah, with Heath Slater in this corner. Henry Del Rio, it's another one. You know, we had, we, we 
pick some long. We had some long rivalries going on, but that's, that's cool, right? right? If you, if that's too long for you, you can always do these shorter rivalries too. That's right. And of course, the main event, King of the Ring the tournament. Ring. Here we go. Triple H versus Jericho. Kane versus Rey Mysterio. CM Punk versus Kofi Kingston. A couple of friends. A couple of travel buddies. Right. A couple of social media superstars down there. There you go. Yeah. Zach Ryder. There we go. Jericho with long so we're gonna kind of simulate three, and we'll get to the finals. Triple here. H, Kane, CM Punk. CM Punk. Yeah, Zack Ryder, Ryder. that's a bit of an upset. Yeah, Love it. Triple H, ooh, Kane. Right up ahead. And CM, CM Punk. Punk. CM Punk, Kane. Yeah. Either way, either way, new king, new king of the ring. One of these two will be the king of the ring. I and for this one, I wanted to play as Kane. So we're gonna jump straight into this match, and we'll give you a little bit of that gameplay. Of course, we still have the we still still have some of the over limit stuff set there because we didn't want to go right. nuts building all, uh, changing making all these different changes to things. Right, you can always set the you can always change those overlays for your shows and your pay per views. Don't expect a lot of mercy to be shown here. Going at it really early on. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying so, attention. Who are you playing with? I'm playing as Kane. Okay. What a nasty Boom. Oh, the devil's favorite demon. That's right. That's right. That's right. This is uh been missing after an abduction by the White family. Right? I'm really, I'm really, really interested to see where that yeah, ends. It's been not just not just because they're fellow beards. Um, that's right. Because. Uh, <laughs> Because they're also from the South. Um, that, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> it's those two things in concert. One. Punk with a quick pin. Kicks. You see, I have trouble reversing those strikes now. It's just, uh, some of those can be really challenging. Ooh. There you go. I didn't have trouble reversing that. Yeah. I'm running grapple. Um, and that's one of the things that uh, we've talked a lot about a little bit. I've seen some confusion online about it. Um, you know, we've said that the new running startup running animation, which you can see on yeah. display anytime somebody starts moving, right? And what it is is instead of just them immediately going zero to sixty and instantly in a full sprint, which right. doesn't happen in real life, right. they start off slow and then they get going. Right. And we've said before that that helps um, in sort of combating running grapple spam, right? That's right? And what that means is it, it doesn't mean that you can't do running grapples because we don't want to take that away because it's mm -hmm. a part of the game. And People enjoy using it, and it's, it's additional moves. We don't want to take anything away from you. Yeah, you got to kind of mix up your offense every now and then. So they're still useful to use when your opponent's not really expecting them. Exactly. Um, but what it does do is it allows you a little bit of extra time, right? right. Especially if somebody's standing right next to you. They can't go immediately into this running animation. Yeah. Because there's kind of an intermediary animation that needs to be completed first. Right. So any experienced players, once they get used to that, seeing that you know, running animation, they're going to know, I need exactly. to hit the reversal trigger right away. Or I'm going to get right out of that. Absolutely. Boom. Boom. Nasty. Kane's been being all sorts of vicious. There's another great kick. Stomping away. I'm a huge Kane fan. I'm really glad you're playing as Kane in this match. I'm a big I'm a big CM Punk fan too. That's well documented. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Kane I think is uh, probably uh, one of the best big men ever in WWE. I don't know if I'm gonna say the Look, best, but he's up yeah. there, man. He's no, I, absolutely up there. I agree with you. Just look how long he's been acting. Yeah, his longevity. That guy doesn't there get hurt. Oh, smothering Ooh. him with the glove. He doesn't get hurt unless you smash it. Um, some steel steps in his head. But that hurts everybody, <laughs> yeah. right? That's right. Not, you know. That's everybody's weakness. That guy's not tweaking the. Wow, that's well, just power right out of it. Wow. I love that move. Yeah. Going for it. Oh, CM Punk's not having it. Yeah. Came to his senses a little bit too soon. Ooh, big boot right to the face. Oh, don't do this. Right to the corner. Oh, oh man. And that was like right. that was that vicious strong throws, huh? Yeah. Get some hammer throws in here. The referee had to get the yeah. get the bejesus out of there. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Walking around with it. There you go. And here it is. Choke Again, slam. the new choke slam. That is a, a lot of people had asked for. Uh, people uh, people didn't like how uh, the choke slam, they, they land on their back and flip over into the stomach. Right. Now they just land on their back and they sell. Dead. Oh, so they like a, like a Mm. That was a quick match. That was a pretty quick match. Was that was uh, what what was the match the match setting on that? Uh, I believe that was a normal one. Wow, you just yeah, sort of plowed through CM Punk, right through huh? Him, yeah. All right. Uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe maybe CM Punk had a, had a couple of really difficult matches. Really. That, that, that Probably Kofi that Kofi match. Really I mean, we did have an entire King of the Ring tournament that night. <laughs> Boom! Oh, home choke slam. Lights out. So, uh, will guys, uh, will guys who show up in the King of the Ring tournament also be part of the the match card, or are those, are those separate? Uh, it's possible they could show up in the, cool. in the King of the Ring tournament. Awesome. Look at, this, look at the crowd freaking out. Nuts. That guy. That guy. <laughs> 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 there's 
crowd is really into King Kane, man. King Kane. And honestly, That's I can't nice blame him. Look at this. Look at this guy. Yeah. He needs a, he needs a, 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 a crown of flames. <laughs> that would be awesome. When he does the, when he does the move, it shoots flames out of it. Yeah. That's. That's why I'm working here, not at WWE. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is. I don't think they'd be entirely too safe. <laughs> awesome. So we got something else to show people. Apparently, there's King Seamus. Obviously, talk talk us through what's going on here. First, fireworks. Obviously, there you go. There's your winner, King of the King, and he shows your match history of who he beat and how he beat them on his way up to becoming the king. Awesome. And so we've got a, a cool little uh, little treat for people. For the superstars that win the King of the Ring, um, you know you, you guys might be familiar with the uh, the, mis the Mr. Money in the Bank title or the, uh, the Royal Rumble winner title. But as you can see, when you win you know, the King of the Ring, you become King of the Ring. Nice. They get their own little title right Perfect. underneath their portrait. And they'll hold on to that until they'll hold on to that for the rest of the year or until a new. Cool. So we've seen a lot of stuff, right? Right. Um, and if you're just joining us, uh, first of all, shame on you because you've been missing some really neat stuff with uh, myself, Aubrey Citizen, and Christo Kriazis, who's the... Did I say that right? You said that right. Yeah. You it's got like it. the, It's only the second time I've ever said that right. Uh, <laughs> Christo, who is a uh, game designer on W2K14, specializes in universe mode, which is why he's here right now. Uh, we've, we've run down the rivalry manager, which mm -hmm. allows you to set rivalries of different lengths with singles competitors or tag teams with titles on the line. That's right. Uh, you can set them at any point and for different shows. Mm -hmm. uh, we've shown people the uh, the ability to set default as well as random attires, which right. is something that a lot of people requested in order to further customize their universe. And mm -hmm. another big addition, uh, King of the Ring tournament. For pay-per-views. And the pay-per-views. Right. So, um, you know, Christo, I'm not going to lie to you. I have a lot of people on the, on the Twitter yelling at me every day, uh -huh. every single day. Uh, but one of the things I've been getting yelled at about a lot recently really? are divas. Divas. Uh, yeah, folks want to know um, what's being done with the WWE divas in the game, right? right. Um, and while we haven't released any uh, interests and finishers yet, I, mm -hmm. I implore everyone to stay tuned. They are coming. Uh, we do have some divas news for you, uh, and I'd, uh, I'd, I'd like you to do the honors. All right. Uh, why don't we fire up that video? Ed? Let's show, not tell. How about yeah, that? Yeah, we'll kind of go through this. <laughs> so in the past, uh, when you set up your major shows, Typically, we've only allowed you to do to assign uh, male belts or male championships. A belt holds up your pants. Right, so. that's right. I apologize. That was rude of me. Male championships uh, as your major championship for your shows. Well, for this year, we're letting you assign female championships as your major championship for your show, so that way your show's match cards will feature the Divas as the main event. Wow, that's a big deal. It's something a lot of people ask for because of the ability of the universe to set a bunch of different shows. A lot of people wanted to have an all diva show, but mm -hmm. were frustrated that they couldn't have, you know, one where, where, where the title was, uh, right. the, the major title was uh, the divas. And while we're here, I wanted to show you real quick those match settings. You know, if you I may have done, right yeah. through it. I'm sorry. No problem. Those, the, the matches, they let you change how many matches occur for your major and minor shows. So your major shows can go five to seven matches long, and your minor shows can go three to seven. But let's get back to the, the female championships for your major shows. And here you can see your main event was featuring Natalia versus Caitlyn, possibly a you know, number one contendership for you. Awesome. For the Divas Championship. And what this means is that you can actually make, you know, if, if you... You can make an old Divas show now. That's which right. Is, which is a huge change over last year. No superstars required if you've got the Divas for it. No superstars required. I'm going to get that. That's my next tell No superstars here. required. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. We're going to uh, put that. So, uh, all right, we'll, that's, that's, <laughs> we got to leave something for the next live stream. So, uh, there it is, folks. Universe mode. Lots of new changes. Um, rivalry manager. Default attires. Random attires. Nice. King of the ring. Ability to set Divas title as a major title. Uh, these are huge things that are going to really change the way that people play with Universe, right? Mm -hmm. um, the fact that you can... Um, allow Universe to build these rivalries for you, but then actually just go in, you know, uh, if you have specific superstars that you really want to see entering the title picture or uh, taking precedence on the shows in the main event, you can do that now with these rivalry managers, and you can make sure that, um, again, this is a request that we saw a lot last year, is people saying, you know, well, um, I know that there are cutscenes in these storylines happening, right. but they're not happening where I want them to happen, mm -hmm. right? Um, this is a way to make sure that they do. Right. That if you're a CM Punk fan, and why wouldn't you be? You can put CM Punk in a rivalry, and he's gonna get these cutscenes. He's That's gonna right. get these story, these storylines to play through. Right. Is there anything else that that, that I that we've missed or glossed over? Uh, anything you'd like to add? Like I mentioned, um, 
a short while ago, we've also got the ability to customize how many matches are happening. Of course. Which I think most people will love. Um, you know, I've heard some feedback that, hey, well, I don't want my minor shows to run out for so long. You know, I just want a few matches in there. Well, now you can do that. Or if you want, if you want Raw to run on a little bit longer, right? Feel like you feel like a like real a true sh super show, show, kind of three right, hour yeah, Raw. Three hour Raw. Yeah. There you go. You got your seven matches on Raw. You can do that. So, um, you know, I uh, before before I go into all my uh, my my closing plugs, mm -hmm. uh, I got I got something really exciting to tell folks. Uh, all we ever talk about is WWE, but yeah. that's not all that 2K does. That's right. In fact, uh, there's, a, there's a new game coming out uh, tomorrow, it's tomorrow. Uh, for uh, NBA, NBA 2K14. Uh, that's huge. And, and that's, next, or that's current gen. But if you're interested in NBA 2K14 next gen, right now, not right now, we'll finish watching us first, but when we're done, you can go over to the NBA 2K14. Facebook, which is, of course, facebook.com slash NBA 2K. You can get your very first look at next generation NBA 2K14 footage filmed using an actual PS4. That's huge. Wow. That's bonkers. Yeah. I'm, I haven't even seen it yet because um, I've just cause I've been busy preparing this with you and practicing with my pal Christo. But as soon as I'm done here, uh, as, soon as, I, as soon as we clean up, I'm going to go check it out because I can't wait to see how all the new graphics and everything look on, I think it's uh, gonna be amazing. on the PS4. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah. So... Uh, after you do that, if you haven't already, go pre-order WWE 2K14. It comes out domestically uh, in North America, October 29th. Internationally, on November 1st. And you got to pre-order. Um, here's why. The Ultimate Warrior. Warrior. You have to get your Ultimate Warrior, pl Warrior playable character. That's our pre-order bonus. Keep tuning in to uh, everything that we do all day, every day, at uh, Twitter, at WWE Games, and Facebook dot com slash WWE games where we're revealing entrance and finisher videos every single day of the week. That's including weekends. So I know you guys don't take the weekends off talking about WWE games, so we're not going to take the weekends off giving you things to talk about. So make sure and come back every single day. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and stay tuned for more live streams. We'll be telling you guys all about it when we decide to do it. Chris Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we appreciate you guys stopping by to take a look at Universe, and we hope you guys really enjoy it. Boom. from hearing the battle cries of the warriors in the WWE Universe to experience WWE 2K14. <laughs> ah, pay attention. Never before have so many superstars stepped up to challenge our throne. And if you pre-order WWE 2K14, you can engage the battle as the ultimate warrior. Ah! Ah! Yeah! That power, this intensity, your belief, our destiny, all of it together created the one and only ultimate warrior. All of us, the freaks, who did in our time what will live forever. <laughs> Hold this, boss. Ah! Free order. K14 today and battle as the one and only ultimate warrior. Become immortal. WWE 2K14. Pre-order.